I have with me today Mr. Arnold McHale and Daniel Kakai from Nautilus Data Technologies. Thank you very much for coming on. Thank you for having you. us, Padre. Now, uh, we first heard about you in a blip. Last week okay. we were talking about, uh, well, your, your project, your project to put a data center on a barge. I think we have to start with the obvious, and that is, <laughs> why why would you put a data center on a barge? On water. Why on water? So, I, I've been uh, building data centers for the past two decades. We started with a uh, company, Exodus Communications, and uh, in the two decades that I've been working uh, in the industry, I've seen the technology kind of stay flat, meaning the power consumption. It, data centers are getting bigger. Uh, cooling never really uh, uh, evolved. And so about six years ago, I started looking into some research into uh, ways to make uh, a data center more cooler. So the obvious one was the water. I mean, placing them on water. Now, the, the notion of putting them on water, yeah, we're, our data centers aren't going to be out in the middle of the ocean just floating around. They're actually just an extension of the pier. And that being said, that we're just using a we, – we haven't really uh, – we're not employing anything that's proprietary. We're using products that are off the shelf, and it's a simple heat exchange, a, cl a secondary closed-loop system. So what that does basically is we're eliminating all your cooling towers, your crack units, all these uh, uh, – electronic equipment that take a lot of uh, power in a data center. So that being said, our, our in order in to, to build a data center of, uh, for, for uh, on a barge that's 8 megawatts, uh, you, you'll have about a, a 50 to 60 percent savings in, in, in building it, as well as the OPEX. Uh, you're looking at about 30 to 40 percent OPEX. Yeah. Daniel, let's talk a little bit about that because sure. – I mean, the theory is great. I mean, mm -hmm. of course, you want to take advantage of natural cooling. That's why you would put your data center in a cooler place. Or or maybe you want to take advantage mm -hmm. of cheap power, which is why you would put it near a, a big power generation place. Right. I like the idea of using that secondary cooling loop to, to just get free cooling from the water on which your barge is sitting. But anyone who's owned a boat knows that boats are holes into which you throw money. I mean, they're very expensive to, to upkeep. Mm -hmm. Does Does that actually offset... Uh, the, the power savings from, from not having to provide all that, that messy cooling equipment, does that offset the additional maintenance of having a data center on such a large body of water? Right, and that's, that's a great question. And, and it's one of the uh, issues that we addressed early on as we went through the engineering process on this. And uh, the way we've addressed this is obviously um, for anything, any of the enclosures, we have special uh, finishes on it that are marine grade that can last quite a long time. Uh, there's also special uh, materials that are used with any of our equipment. Uh, for instance, some of the pumps, uh, depending on the location, will have stainless steel or uh, platinum kind of uh, uh, rotors on them. So uh, we've taken all that into account and we've built that in and it does not affect the bottom line. Uh, we're able to maintain these uh, just as much as a normal land-based data center, uh, basically on the same kind of uh, calendar. So we're, we're good on that side. We've addressed that.